can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this right triangle right here, and the hypotenuse of this right triangle is divided by this segment 3 and this segment 5. Now the question is, what is the area of this triangle? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Before we show the solution to this question, let's have first the final answer. The final answer is simply 15 square units. Now the question is, how do we get this 15 square units? And here's our solution. So, to answer this question, we will use some laws of tangents. Now take note, from the point of tangent C and the point outside the circle, it says that these two tangent lines are said to be equal. Now clearly, if this is 3, the other segment must be equal to 3. Also, if this length must be equal to 5, then the other leg must be equal to 5. So, this is just 3. And this segment is also 5. Now from here, let's draw the center of this circle by drawing some radius like this. Now let's call this radius as R. Now since it is a square, so all of this side must be the same. So they are all R. Now what we're going to do here is to take note of this segment, this leg rather, 3 and r. Now, if we combine this, we can say that one leg of this right triangle must be equal to r plus 3. Also, the other leg of this right triangle must be equal to r plus 5. Now, we can now find the area of this triangle. Take note that the area of this triangle must be equal to 1 half times base times height. So, we have here the base, which is equal to r plus 5, and we have the height must be equal to r plus 3. So we can get the area of this right triangle must be equal to 1 half times the base, which is r plus 5, times the height, which is r plus 3. Now let's simplify. r plus 3 times r plus 5. This will give us a value of r squared plus 8r plus 15. So the area of this right triangle must be equal to 1 half multiplied by the value of r squared plus 8r plus 15. Now, from here, to get the value of this expression r squared plus 8r plus 15, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, we have a squared. This a represents r plus 3 or the legs of this right triangle and the other leg must be r plus 5. And then the hypotenuse must be equal to 8 because 3 plus 5 must be equal to 8. Now, let's simplify first r plus 3 quantity squared. This will give us r squared plus 6r plus 9. Now, how about r plus 5 quantity squared? This will give us r squared plus 10r plus 25. Now, 8 squared is definitely equal to 64. Now, let's combine like terms. So, we have r squared right here and the other one we have r squared. So, if we combine this, we have 2r squared. Now, 6r plus 10r, this will give us 16r. And then 9 plus 25, this is equivalent to 34. Now, let's equate this to 0. So, let's subtract 64 on both sides. Now, if we do that, this 64 cancel out. So, we have negative 30 on the left side equals to 0. Now, since they are all multiple of 2. So 2 is a multiple of 2. 16 is a multiple of 2. This is just 2 times 8. And 30 is a multiple of 2. This is 2 times 15. So let's divide all of this coefficient by 2. So we get r squared plus 8r minus 15. Now this is close to the expression that we want. The only difference is we have positive 15 here and we have a negative 15. So to get 
a positive 15, let's add 30 on both sides. So positive 30 minus 15 is positive 15. And we get the value of r squared plus 8r plus 15. And that is equal to 30. Now, since we know the value of this expression, we can now replace this expression with the value of 30. So the area of this right triangle must be equal to 1 half times 30. And 1 half times 30 is simply equal to 15. Therefore, the area of this right triangle must be equal to 15 square units. And as always, we are done.